Uh, Scott Padgett joining us now uh, with a uh, look at the weather. And y'all took weather on wheels out again. Every huh? Wednesday, that's what yeah. we've been doing. It's that time of the week again when we visit a local elementary school. And this week, meteorologist Jeff Ray visited Carroll ISD and spoke to the entire fourth grade class at Old Union Elementary School. I'm hitting something. <laughs> I'm hitting air, right? I can't see it. I can't see the air in this room. I can feel it. There's an ocean of water and air that's all above you. We don't see the, the ocean of air move. Now, if I didn't have any fog in there, it still would have made the smoke ring, but we wouldn't have been able to see it. Air is in constant motion, and because air weighs quite a bit, it can do tremendous things. That an airplane's wing has less air under and more air on top, so it actually goes up. All I did was increase the airflow above the roll of toilet paper. That's all I did. And what, what I did was make basically a plane fly. What is the most dangerous weather there is in North Texas? Heat is one of America's most dangerous situations especially for Texas. When you're standing out in the sun, be under an umbrella. Have your shirt sleeves down. There is no reason the sun should be on your skin. Half of the fatalities in flooding occurs at night in a car. Never let anyone drive you into moving water. Because you can't see what's under the water. Tornado! A vortex that creates a tornado. tornado. That what's happening in a tornado is the air is coming up and, and sucking like a vacuum cleaner. You're whole lot of fun. I see a couple of future meteorologists there. We're going to be visiting a different elementary schools each week this school year. The presentations are best for third and fourth graders. If you'd like us to come visit your school, you can sign up online at cbsdfw.com.